Oh right, uh, British fish cakes. Um, I've started off with some cod fillet, which started life looking pretty much like that. And about the same weight of potato. This is just cooked potato that is just crumbed up at the moment. It's not, it's not been mashed with milk or anything else. It's just the potato. So we've got a fillet, in this case it's cod, but you can use just about any white fish. Uh, you can get really good results from pollock and haddock. Uh, pollock and haddock are slightly drier, but they're generally more sweet than cod. The majority of fish cakes made in the United Kingdom are made with cod. Right, you'll also need some fresh parsley, so you need a good pinch of fresh parsley. You'll need some ground white pepper and you'll need some salt. And you'll need some sort of breadcrumbs. I have no uh, fancy panko breadcrumbs, but what I do is I just get some a couple of corners of dry bread, and I'll blitz those in the food processor, and uh, they'll be ready. And the egg is for binding and for adding on the uh, breadcrumbs. All right, then. First thing I want to do is get this ground up. So that's my uh, breadcrumbs uh, nicely ground up. You don't have to go too mad on them, make them too fine. Because you, it, it, it's nice to add a little bit of texture on the outside of your fish cake. Right, the, the process from here on is fairly simple. I'm just going to get a larger mixing bowl. And into my mixing bowl, I put my potato. And that's just one uh, medium sized baking potato. It's best to use floury potatoes for this uh, job. Into that goes my chopped parsley. Fresh parsley is better than dried but you can use dried at a pinch. And then we need to get all that mixed together. Now don't, you don't want to mash it up too much. You want to leave some fairly substantial flakes of fish in there for texture. I think the mistake a lot of people make is they is they mash it up too fine and I don't want to do that so as you see the potato binds the fish and the herbs together lovely I'm just going to add now in some white pepper okay I've added about half a teaspoon of ground white pepper to this and I'm going to add about the same of salt it's really rather simple this, it, um, and it was just a way of using up uh, fi uh, leftover fish and potato. So we've mixed it up nicely and it comes together and uh, I'll make two generous sized fish cakes out of that. Right, I want to get my egg beaten up. So the first thing I want to do is get my, with a clean hand, I want to get my fish and potato mixture shaped into two patties and the first thing I'll do is form two equal balls let's see what we look like with that not quite equal so we'll form them into equal balls and don't mash them up too much you just want to press them together and then flatten them you can use a form if you like which gets you a really good shape. I'll show you that right now. If you have a form, all you simply do is you push the cake down into the form to form its shape. And then you just make it nice and even and then lift it out like that. You don't have to use a form, you can freehand it of course, rather like you make your, your burgers. But let's just make these look pretty, shall we? So that's them using a simple stainless steel form. And then the next thing we need to do is egg them, bread them and fry them. So I've got my small frying pan and it's got about a um, quarter of an inch of sunflower oil in it. That's coming up to heat. And I'm, I'm, I've got the heat set on two thirds of maximum, which will give me a nice steady heat. I don't want to burn these. So first of all, I take my patties, 
very carefully and a little bit gingerly and I take them and first into the egg then into my homemade panko style breadcrumbs give that a good old turn and make sure it's thoroughly coated so you press it down a little bit so it picks stuff up and once you've got that breaded to your satisfaction that can go straight into the oil and then we can prepare the next one have a play with the recipe this is the English version there's no reason why you can't use a mixture of potato and sweet potato add in some hot pepper if you like add in some um, different herbs whatever your favorite herbs are and then that goes in that's ready turn the heat down a little bit because it's a bit lively and when you come to flip them just get underneath them like that and then just flip them over very carefully and lower them back into the the oil to prevent splashing so we're frying the all the ingredients already cooked so we're just frying these to heat them through and to give them that lovely brown color in a few minutes they'll be ready to serve up so there's the fish cakes I've drained them on uh, kitchen paper and served them up with a sprig of parsley and some uh, lovely tartar sauce and that is a feast quite often in the UK they're served with uh, chips or with um, french fries and sometimes they're served with parsley sauce but um, I prefer them this way just as they are with a bit of tartar sauce delicious